Hi, this is Ethan Wynn here from MindDrawingTutorials.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a 3D hole optical illusion. Here's what the illusion will look like. Now let me show you how I did it. The first step is to draw a big ellipse on your drawing paper. The rest of the drawing will be done in ink, but I'll draw the first ellipse in pencil because we'll be erasing it later. Next, draw a smaller ellipse inside the first one using ink. You'll want to make this one slightly shorter and more rounded. And instead of placing it right in the center, move it down slightly. By the way, I made a light pencil sketching of the entire drawing beforehand, and it's now simply going over it with ink. This way, the drawing process will be a lot smoother, and you won't have to see me erasing and redrawing a bunch of times. You'll probably want to do your drawing in pencil first before going over it with ink. And also, don't be afraid to change things around a bunch of times to get the curves just right. Then draw another smaller ellipse inside this one. Again, you'll want to make it more rounded and place it closer towards the bottom. Repeat this process three more times. You can see the pattern very clearly here. Each ellipse is a little more like a circle, and they group together at a single point. Next, we're going to draw some lines from the center outward. The gaps between these lines will be the widest at the bottom, and gradually narrow as they move upward. To help plan out the spacing and make them more consistent, I like to start at both ends at the same time. That way, I'll have a good idea of how wide the stripes at the top will be, and plan accordingly. One important detail is to make sure you end up with an even number of stripes. You'll see why this is important in a minute. Once we have all the stripes drawn in, let's erase the outermost circle. Now we'll use a sharpie marker to fill in the outer circle using an alternating pattern. This is why it's important to have an even number of stripes. If the stripes were odd, it would throw the pattern out of sync. The large stripe marker won't be able to color in the squares all the way to the edge, so we'll just go as close to the edge as we can for now. Continue doing this for all the circles. Now let's take a smaller pen and fill in the small gaps that we couldn't get with the larger marker. The last step is to create a dark gradation at the center hole. I'll use a 9XXB graphite pencil to put in the base tone. You can also use a 4B or 6B pencil for this. And I'll use a blending stump to smooth out the tone. And now I'll use a charcoal pencil to put in a really dark layer for the hole. And that's it. Now all we have to do is look at this drawing at an angle to see the 3D optical illusion. Cool, huh? For this week's giveaway, the prize will be a $20 Amazon gift card and the signed drawing in this video. To win, all you have to do is click on that link right there to go to the Facebook post for this lesson. Then simply share and like the post to enter. A winner will be randomly selected on this date, so make sure you get your submission in before then. By the way, congratulations to the winner of the previous giveaway. 
please just respond to the Facebook message I sent you to claim your prize. If you like this video, please help me out and share it with your friends on your favorite social network. Also, I release a new video every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, happy drawing.